In this video, you will see Kelly and Maria working on the following problem. If x represents the area of a growing square, what is the rate of change of the side length with respect to the area when x equals 5? As they work, consider the obstacles they encounter and think about how you might solve the problem. We want to find... oh! Okay. A growing square. <laughs> we want to find the rate of change of the side length with respect to the area. So it's a derivative? I think so, right? So we're looking for a derivative. And we know that we're looking at when the area is five. Mm -hmm. And we know the area is just right. side squared. Yeah. We know so a lot of things. Area equals side squared. We know that the side is equal to root A. Hmm, that's true. The limit of the change in area is equal to zero. Mm -hmm. And then it's S of 5 plus delta A. Okay. Um, minus, minus S, of, S five. of 5 all over delta A. Okay. So, now what? What, do we, what can we fill in? <laughs> I don't know. So, so for S of 5, we're saying what is the side when the area is 5, right? Yeah. I feel like that we know. So let's see if we can replace any of these. So we know that the area, when, or if we have S of 5 plus delta A, that's just asking what is the side when the area is 5 plus delta A. Mm -hmm. So we're looking at the limit of delta A. Um, well, we know S of 5 is just going to be root 5, right? right? So root 5. And then... Delta A stays. Um, so we just do... Um, no, I think it would be... It would all go under the same square root. Because it's the side. Oh, okay. So you're keeping it together. Yeah. Okay. And now we do what? I don't know. Um, I'm not really sure how to keep calculating it or how to keep going here. Yeah. I feel like we're just kind of stuck with the delta A mm -hmm. now. In this video, Kelly and Maria tried computing the value of a derivative using the limit definition, but got stuck in their computation. We'll explore how to use this limit definition in upcoming videos.